Hello and welcome. My name is Nino Dakar. I'm the founder of Electrical Autonomy Canada and I'm delighted to be here today in the Cadillac Live studio. What you just saw was a preview of the brand new all electric Cadillac Lyric and I'm honoured to be standing next to the only one in the world uh, alongside Managing Director of Cadillac Canada, Shane Beaver. Shane, it's great to be here with you today. Great to be here today as well, Nino. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm looking great. forward to a great, great chat with you. Same here. Um, so, Shane, Shane, we're going to be talking about a bunch of things. We're going to be talking about Canada's plans for electric relation in Canada, Canada uh, advanced uh, driver assistance and self-driving systems, self systems like Super Cruise, uh, and of course about the Lyric. But first, I'd love to hear a bit more about uh, the Cadillac Live Studio, where we are now, which is a, a virtual showroom. Perhaps you can tell our audience a little bit more about that. Yeah, thanks, Nino. I'd, I'd really love to and, and welcome everyone uh, on behalf of Cadillac Canada. Um, so we're here in, in the Cadillac Live Studio, which is uh, really the first of its kind in the world. It serves North America and uh, has served a number of customers around the globe for, for some of our events. And um, basically what it is, is a one-to-one -one or one-to-many uh, live one stream uh, customer experience where customers can go to our website if they're shopping and they have questions about our products or our technologies, they can call in, uh, meet a, an advisor, a Cadillac advisor, one-on-one, -on -one, a real live person who will take them for a tour of whichever vehicle that they, they want in our portfolio. The video is one way, so the consumer at home or wherever they may be doesn't have to have their video on. Um, but you get to see uh, up close and personal the vehicles, uh, just like being in a, in a showroom. So if you need to know how something fits in the back of the vehicle, a car seat, uh, luggage, you can do that. If you just have simple questions that you want to ask quickly about specs, they can do it. Uh, and it's open almost 24 hours a day. So uh, for consumers across North America who want to shop when a dealership might be closed, it's a, it's a great option. Well, it's 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 incredibly cool to be. I have to say, there's yeah. there's almost every Cadillac I imagine in, in your in your range here. Yes, and yeah. It's it's really impressive to uh, see the advisors at work. I've I've been here and it's great hearing them talking customers through and a lot of interest in the lyric, which is fantastic. Um, and just for our audience, you may hear here actually some of the advisors will work in the background because this is a working live studio. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so super exciting to be here. Um, a quick comment to our audience um, uh, that uh, we will be taking questions at the end and Shane has, has very kindly agreed to take them from the audience. So if I can encourage you to put your questions in the Q using the Q&A button in the bottom right of your screen. screen. Uh, obviously Cadillac is part of, of GM, but uh, we are here today to talk about Cadillac and Shane is obviously a representative speaking uh, about Cadillac. So we will be addressing Cadillac specific questions today. Well, let's chat about the Lyric. It's, I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> it's Cadillac's first all-electric um, vehicle and built on an all-new platform. Sh yeah. Shane, can you tell us what makes it unique and really what the company's looking to achieve with this? Yeah, it, absolutely. My pleasure. And, and, and really everything about it is unique. It's our first all-electric vehicle, as you mentioned, but it's built uh, on our new Altium platform, uh, which, which provides a whole new way of building vehicles for General Motors. And, and for us as a brand, it's uh, it's incredibly important to us because it kicks off our electric future, right? It's the first of many electric vehicles to come for Cadillac. Uh, and it really delivers the craftsmanship and precision and technology that you'd expect in a Cadillac, but in a whole new world, uh, you know, the electrification world. So whether it's, it's 400 and kilometers, uh, 480 kilometers of, of range, which is uh, pretty outstanding, 33 inch display, it's glass roof, or even uh, some of the animated lighting that you see uh, at the front, which I'll, I'll turn on for you here now. Uh, the vehicle really represents uh, something out of this world uh, for, for Cadillac and for the brand uh, or and for the industry and, and really we hope sets the standard uh, and benchmark among electric vehicles in the market. So very excited about what it means for us here uh, at Cadillac. Well, 480 kilometers of range is a, is a very healthy distance and I think that that's going to meet the needs of yeah. most, most drivers yes. uh, uh, out in the market for sure. Yeah, and um, you mentioned the Altium platform, yes. uh, Shane. Uh, this is the. I'm right in saying that this is the first vehicle that's actually going to be that's actually coming to market on, on Altium. Yes, this and, and the Hummer EV will be close to the same time for Cadillac. This is this is our first, and it'll be out in in March of uh, 2022 in the US, and and just after that here in in Canada. 
Awesome. Yeah. And that, and that, and, and ultimately involves an all new propulsion system, a, 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 an all new uh, motor, yes. and all new battery yep. kind of configurations, completely, completely new. brand new to the market. Yeah, completely new ground up, which allows us to get those varieties of, of ranges um, across the portfolio that we have, and then also a um, variety of battery capabilities and, and charging technology. Uh, this one has uh, 190 uh, kilowatts charging capacity for DC fast charging, which is really up to you know four times faster than say a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger you might yeah. find on the highway. So that allows us to get to 125 kilometers of range in in just about 10 minutes. So um, capabilities are are really outstanding with this new platform. Yeah, it's interesting you mentioned the charging speed, and it's something that yeah. we're increasingly reporting on electric autonomy is that vehicles like this are coming to the market that have really fast charging speeds, yeah. and we really need to step up in the ch public charging infrastructure to be able to meet the charging speeds yes. that these vehicles can take. So yeah. it's great that the vehicles are coming to market so that we can actually start. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's amazing um, to see the transition, right? You kind of go back into the early days of the automobile and you think it's for, for us it's as significant as going from the horse and buggy to the to the automobile right it's a it's a big leap forward and uh it it certainly means a lot for the environment it certainly means a lot for uh our mission at general motors to have uh zero emissions zero congestion and zero crashes um and uh we're, we're very excited for it to come to market uh, that's awesome the design i think our audience can see certainly from the front view the, the design is really striking it all is. the way around the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you could speak to some of the design considerations that went into uh, the build. Obviously, an EV is very different from a... I mean, they, they, they can look quite similar, but an EV is very different from a gas. Yeah, I, absolutely. And I mean, some of the things that we're all collectively used to with gasoline engines is just the... You know, some of some of those handcuffs, if you will, about design are, are taken off uh, when it comes to the grill. You know, uh, there's no need for the air intake that you might normally see. So you have the ability to do cool things with the lighting, like uh, the animations that we have here with the crystal uh, jeweled grill. Uh, you have a longer wheelbase. Um, it allows us to stretch the wheels to the corner of the vehicle uh, and provide, uh, you know, a really sporty driving dynamic, but also near 50-50 weight distribution, which is something you only really get in, in some of the uh, most expensive performance cars in, in the world that you'll now get into into something like the Lyric. and. Uh, Interior comfort as well opens up with the longer wheelbase. Uh, you know, consumers will have plenty of room inside the vehicle in the front and the back seat, which might be constrained with some gas vehicles today. Uh, things like the full glass roof, it allows us to, you know, do a different structure on the vehicle and get into things that uh, consumers are, are looking for. And then, of course, technology, right? It, it enables a whole new suite of technology for us, the, whether it's apps that a customer can use to figure out where the nearest charging station is, what their state of charge on their on their battery is, uh, even to optimizing times uh, for electrical uh, uh, efficiency when it comes to you know peak hours and peak demand, they can choose if they're plugged in at home when to when to max out the charging. So, very uh, very intuitive vehicle, and and for us, uh, really a clean sheet when it comes to design. That's cool. So really, a complete rethink in so yeah. many aspects. Uh, yeah. You, you, one thing I'd love to just uh, dive into a little bit. Um, you mentioned the fifty fifty weight distribution yes. that battery power enables you to have and obviously this is an SUV yeah. but that that, that, that 50 50 balance comes from having the batteries lower down yes whereas with a gas car you've got the, yeah. the engine at the front. things tend to be front loaded in a you know a, in a gasoline vehicle whether it's a transmission or the engine whereas with this the the batteries are equally spaced out throughout the platform of the vehicle so you're able to achieve that much easier uh whenever you're dealing with uh, with electric vehicles and and our Altium platform really, really allows for that. That's yeah, terrific. Yeah. Well, Shane, one of the other exciting things that ha happened this week is that we announced the launch of the electric charging of the future design competition. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, we, we, we had electric autonomy with several partners and we're absolutely thrilled that Cadillac is our exclusive automotive partner in that contest. Yeah. And what we're looking to do with that competition is to reimagine what the highway road stop of the future will will look like um obviously when you're charging your car for 10 20 30 minutes it's a very different experience to you know uh, filling up with gas for a few minutes and then continuing your journey so yeah. you get this pause point in the journey which creates all sorts of opportunities to enhance the driving experience um yeah thank you for being part yeah, of this no, initiative. We're, we're very proud to 
Very excited Just, about what will come out of that. Yeah, oh, terrific. You know, we, we'd love to know what it means for you to be what 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 it means for you to be part of a competition like this, and and what you're looking to see really in. Uh, public highway charging or, or public charging infrastructure because that's a key part of the experience. Yeah, I, absolutely. And, and with battery speeds of 190, you know, charging capacity of 190 kilowatts where you're able to charge the vehicle very quickly, um, not all charging stations are able to, to accommodate that at this point, right? So we're, we're working very closely with uh, infrastructure companies and, and public companies and, and partnerships like this so that we can advance that technology and advance the design of, of these stations to create a better customer experience. Because uh, as things are going with, with vehicles like this, some of the capabilities um, of the vehicles outstrips what's available for some of the charging uh, capacity. So for us, it's really uh, rethinking that. You know, we've we've thought about gas stations the way they are for for years and as consumers we've just sort of accepted that that's the way it is whereas um with with all of the uh the transition in the industry and for us as a brand we really want to elevate the customer experience and and we're looking for partnerships and, and ideas on that front so it means a lot to us uh, especially as you think about the future of of ultium and uh larger vehicles that'll come out on the platform having even more capacity uh, to charge at even faster speeds uh, we want the infrastructure to come along come along with us so very excited to be part of the partnership and thank you for that opportunity oh great we're really excited and also to have uh, Magali Dubelis who's the lead designer of the uh, Kalak exterior joining us on the judging yeah, panel we're, we're really pleased about that so thank you Bring, brings us nicely onto the the, the, the dealer experience yeah. obviously we're in a virtual setting yeah. now which is super cool but obviously a lot of the audience you know will, will be going to dealers and and obviously uh cadillac dealers are going through the same transition that everybody else well the rest of the industry is going to the education i'd love to hear how how cadillac dealer community is uh is, is transitioning and getting ready for the lyric and, and others yeah we're, we're really excited about that and uh, so are our dealer partners we've worked really closely with our, our dealer partners and and dealer council to develop, um, you know, specs and and charging infrastructure for the dealerships so that they're ready to receive these vehicles when they arrive, you know, this time next year. So uh, all of our dealers, uh, all Cadillac dealers, are going through the electrification process and meeting with their uh, electrical uh, service providers to up sometimes upgrade the services coming into the facility, but meet a minimum standard that Cadillac has has provided, and, and really that standard is is really quite high, uh, and uh, it'll it'll make sure that they have DC fast chargers on site. Um, it'll make sure that they have customer parking chargers on site, uh, chargers uh, for service, chargers for employee parking, and chargers for customer uh, delivery and, and vehicle inventory, so that. Um, when you show up to a Cadillac dealership, they're, they're ready. There's no question. Your vehicle is going to be fully, fully charged after a service visit. Your vehicle is going to be fully charged on delivery. And they'll have the capability and training to really uh, teach you everything you need to know about how to charge the vehicle, whether that's at the dealership. Some of them will offer that to the public, uh, whether that's at home or whether that's on the road. And so we've been uh, very encouraged by the number of dealers in Canada that have uh, have really been enthusiastic about this and, and signed up uh, wholeheartedly to, to get things ready. So that's quickly underway um, and, and should be finished by the time that the first lyrics start to land. Terrific. Um, just on that point, uh, the, uh, the the sounds for the Lyric are starting, you're opening up the order book yes. to, to people who place reservations with the Lyric this Saturday. Saturday so at four, yeah. A very timely chat. What, what time on Saturday is it? It's four o'clock Eastern. So uh, if you visit Cadillac.ca, or if you're in the U.S., Cadillac.com. We'll be taking reservations for uh, for the lyric for this debut edition, which you see here, um, starting on on Saturday uh, at four o'clock, and it'll be on behalf of all of our dealers. So, uh, all of our dealers will will have their uh, have their setups and systems ready to go, so that uh, you can place uh, a deposit. Hundred dollar deposit is what we're we're asking uh, for from consumers to either reserve one, and if a dealer has filled those reservations we're actually taking hundred dollar deposits to join the wait list because this debut edition is is for the first few months of production but there's lots more to come after that and so we want to make sure that customers have the chance to 
uh, you, you know, sign up for getting on the wait list for future releases as well. Awesome. Yeah. So for our, for our audience uh, across Canada, if they place an order this, this on Saturday or this weekend, yep. when could they expect to receive delivery? Yeah, delivery starts in uh, about this time next year. So fall of 2022. Uh, it'll be limited quantities to start. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, we pulled ahead the timing of the lyric by... Uh, by nine months, which is awesome. really phenomenal. Love hearing um, that. So at the beginning, you know, we'll have two colors. This isn't satin steel that you see here, and uh, uh, and stellar black metallic, uh, two interior colors, the sky cool gray that you see here in the noir. Um, and then uh, beyond that initial first few months of of delivery next year, uh, things will start to ramp up, and you'll see more availability and uh, more options. So. If you get your name in now, you'll uh, you'll be first in line either for the debut edition if you happen to snag one of those, uh, or for additional releases as they as they come out. Terrific. Well, one of the things we we often hear, particularly with the way a uh, supply of EVs has been in the years kind of up to now, is that a lot of the supply goes to um, our EV progressive provinces, provinces, if you like, and I'm sure audience are familiar with this, with, with BC and Quebec, obviously, there, there's huge uptake there for various reasons. Yeah. Um, what, 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 can you, what commitments can you make or, sure. uh, to help ensure that um, customers in other provinces will have a, as equal access as, uh, as those in BC and Quebec? Here? Yeah, well, I, I'm really proud of our dealer network. We have close to 120 Cadillac dealers across the country which will really represent the largest uh, electric network uh, of luxury uh, manufacturers right across the country. So um, we're in every province and every dealer who is a Cadillac dealer will have the opportunity to sell lyrics. So uh, that means we'll be distributing them right across the country from uh, the start. So everyone will get uh, a debut edition, uh, at least one. Um, and then, you know, uh, in, in the future, we're anticipating volume of this vehicle to be a very major player in our lineup. And, you know, while we will distribute them to competing Tesla markets, a lot of how we're distributing them is based on the strength of the sales volume of that Cadillac dealer as well. So um, it's a good blend and you'll see lyrics from, from coast to coast to coast uh, in Canada uh, and in, in good supply as we head into, uh, you know, we get through the debut edition phase into the uh, into the subsequent uh, releases. Great, great, great to hear. Yeah. I, I know there are some, uh, uh, just even actually in, in recent months, great incentives uh, coming and rebates coming out from the Atlantic provinces, for yeah, example. It's so great to see them uh, getting, get on board. And uh, uh, it's really great to see the adoption rates grow as well. I know some of the public charging infrastructure uh, has spread out now. I think a lot of people in some of the provinces that you don't think of for EV provinces would be surprised at how many chargers there really are out there on uh, on the public uh, network and uh, we're excited to see that continue to grow awesome well at, at electric autonomy we, we're very much about trying to pull the future of transportation into the present yeah and so electrification is is, is one um we, we, we're really looking to advance to a cleaner and safer transportation system uh the other aspect of that is is self-driving technology and you know, we, we would love to see a reduction in Human, human error, fatalities, accidents caused by, by um, accidents. Yeah. And so the introduction of uh, advanced driver assistance systems and self-driving capabilities, obviously we're at the lower levels right now, self-driving, yeah. but Cadillac and Super Cruise is regarded as one of the most advanced on the market. Yeah. And the Lyric comes with it. It does. I'd, I'd, I'd love for you to expand on your vision for self-driving and how you see self-driving and autonomy taking shape and growth in Canada. Yeah, that's that, that's very exciting. And uh, we're really happy to be introducing Lyric with standard Super Cruise in the debut edition. So when you sign up for a debut edition, it, it's going to come with all of that tech standard. You don't have to check that option box. And so what that means for consumers is our Super Cruise technology will come built in with a trial for three years, uh, which is amazing. So it won't cost you anything to subscribe to Super Cruise for, for three full years of your time of your life and then it's very reasonable after that um, but it's a full self-driving technology uh, with some user interfaces but as you say it's it's been rated uh, the best in the market by a number of third-party companies so whether you want to change lanes uh, automatically it will allow you to do that um, but it does it completely hands-free and so there are sensors on the steering wheel that will monitor uh, you know, your eye movement, whether you're paying attention or not. We still make sure you're paying attention to the road. 
but complete hands off uh, on over 320,000 kilometers of road uh, roadways in, in North America, and that's expanding every day. So, very exciting for us as as we do that. And as you see future rollouts, right? GM will have more to more to come on on that front as as self driving technology advances and. Um, you know, for us, even adding, you know, non-divided highways and uh, adding more roads across the country uh, will we'll just democratize that technology even further and, and really increase the safety. I, you, you know, just an anecdotal story, but my parents are in their mid-70s and I, I took a vehicle to them that has Super Cruise in it today. A lot of our gasoline-powered vehicles have it. And uh, they they were really hesitant to, to try it at first, but when they took their hands off the wheel for the first time, you could really just see them relax and for them making a three-hour trek on the 401 to visit us or vice versa it it really provides a a safety and a comfort to them that you know regular cruise control doesn't so it was interesting to see even even the most apprehensive people give it a a shot and and really enjoy it my dad said it was uh you know something that they had talked about in the in the 50s when he was a kid you know (laughs) self-driving cars and, and they're here now and he's loving to see it so pretty amazing to to have the technology this advanced available today and and of course you know with the platform and the technology that it brings with it obviously more and more advancements to come i i i, I love hearing that you know it's very much what, what, what we're about and what we want to see happen and i, I love your anecdote I, I think the thing about self-driving and autonomy is that there's a there's, sometimes the way you see it portrayed is that it's a bit of a, a, a gimmick or a gadget yeah but but with um with seniors and you know, some people close to me where, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people know people who have anxiety on highways. Yeah. It, it's a really common issue. And to have a car that can just remove the, just as your parents had that yeah. sit back and relax, actually, I don't need to be worried because yeah. I'm, I'm actually supervising a system yeah. rather than having to white white knuckle it yeah um it, it's you know, not everybody's happy blasting down the highways as you and i might. yeah no so. it's it, it's very true and even for myself but like i love to drive uh having this when i take my trips to detroit and visit the headquarters is uh it is really a standing you just arrive feeling refreshed and you arrive feeling far less stressed out than you normally would and you don't even realize it when you're driving you know um the difference is is really outstanding so i'd encourage anybody who is interested in Super Cruise to give it a shot today. We have it in our CT4, our CT5, our Escalade, and uh, coming this fall, XT66. So uh, we're spreading right across the right across the lineup. Great stuff. Great, great technology. Good, good, good to hear. Um, so the industry is going through a huge transition. I think a lot of our audience know that yeah. automakers are working really hard to to meet the moment in terms of issues around the climate crisis and trying to remove trying to reduce emissions but also we're in a phase of now it's become about technology disruption and the 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 need to innovate and bring you know good products to market so being at the sharp end from an automotive manufacturer it's uh i can imagine it's it's probably quite a ride for you how is it having a front seat of this just generational transition that you're experiencing it's really an honor to you know to be associated with with cadillac it's kind of uh, it's a it's an iconic brand to begin with, right? And then to see its transition to a fully electric brand by the end of the decade through, and, and get involved directly in that, and pricing the products and making sure they're packaged the right way for the Canadian market is really a, I, I see it as a privilege. And uh, for us, it's it's very exciting as a brand. And um, not only are we you know looking to be fully electric by the end of the decade. Um, Mary Barra has, has, has talked about GM's corporate vision of, of triple zero, right? Zero emissions, uh, zero collisions, and, and zero congestion. And so uh, we're not only involved in the electrification of the industry, but as you're talking about autonomous technology and safety technology, being at the forefront of things that are really going to change the world. They're going to change uh, you, you know, the environment uh, for the better. We're going to reduce crashes with technology like Super Cruise and some of the safety features that uh, all of our vehicles have, including the Lyric. And uh, hopefully, you know, as you as you look out into the future with autonomous driving, uh, helping with with congestion along the way, and, and having self-driving vehicles is is something that's that's going to help alleviate that and really make people's lives better uh, at the end of the day because we all. Um, have grown up in a, in a fairly stagnant industry, right? The automotive industry has kind of been the same 
gas powered vehicles, diesel vehicles since, since I've been a kid and you've yeah, been a likewise, kid. And, yeah. and uh, to see this change happening so quickly is, is really exciting to be part of. It's, it's interesting you reference uh, Mary Barra, the CEO, yeah. and it almost seems like a change in mission, a fundamental mission almost of, of, yeah. of what you did before to what you're doing now. Yeah, it is. It's it's really striking, right? And uh, it's it's something that we really put ourselves out there on, but, and, and it's something that Cadillac is, is really leading the way on, uh, becoming fully electric. So we're excited to be uh, you know part of that and help fulfill that vision. Great. I've got one more question for you, Shane, for sure. myself before we go to the audience. Yeah, so no problem. If the audience do want to, uh, I, I, I can see there's some questions in already. Um, please continue to add your questions in the Q&A. Uh, before I go to the, the audience Q&A, um, Shane, you, you, I've no doubt you've probably got your pick of, of Cadillac vehicles that you get to try. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd love to know, you know, are you looking forward to get your hands on a Lyric? And, and what's your EV experience so far? Have you been in one? Have you driven yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't yeah. wait to get behind the wheel. We'll have some uh, pre-production units out for testing in, in Warren, and I'm hoping to get down there as soon as uh, the border restrictions are uh, allow me to, to to drive those. But um, uh, prior to, prior to this role, I worked in the Chevrolet brand team and was the marketing manager um, for for electric vehicles. So I had a chance to spend quite a bit of time behind the wheel of a Volt, which was our you know most recent foray into uh, into the world of electrification. Prior to us releasing full electric vehicles you know that uh, dual mode system where you could basically run on electric you know battery power all day if you wanted to but fill up if you needed to because range technology hadn't evolved yet um was really great so i've i've driven volts as my own company car before and really in, enjoyed them and uh and you know um spent some time behind the wheel of some of our more recent uh, uh, launches with the Bolt EUV, which is which is just yeah, out. So, so um, quite, a quite a bit of time, of time <laughs> with a, a lot of time talking to our customers too. And I, I that's the one thing I kind of enjoyed the most. So I'm happy to uh, get into the questions with you here today. But um, the customers that were early adopters of those Volts and and early electric vehicles that we had um, were just such enthusiasts. You know, uh, getting behind the wheel. Uh, you know, bragging about how much they didn't have to fill the Volt up and how long it had been since they visited the gas station. It really becomes uh, addictive and, and part of the culture. And you really start to realize that things can be different. We don't have to, you know, continue to, to do things the way we've always been doing them. So really interesting. And, and for my children, you know, who are seven and nine, uh, having brought them home and, and driving electric vehicles and taking them for, for drives in them, um, they're just, uh, they're already there, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, uh, they don't know why we, we, we haven't done these things before. Why, why would we want, why would we have gas and we can just plug it in, right? Uh, so there's a lot of wisdom in, in some of the, the younger generations about uh, the environment and making things simpler. Uh, well, I'm I'm really thrilled to know that we have it in the head of Cadillac and EV naked. Yeah, he's got first-hand yeah. experience and knows really what it's all about. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's been exciting, uh, and uh, I, I couldn't be happier to to see it unfolding in Cadillac. Awesome, yeah. great. Well, thanks thanks for asking all my no questions. Problem, Shane. You know, I'm uh, pleased to. For the audience have been waiting patiently. Thanks so much. We've got some great questions coming through. Um, so, uh, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna read literally. For yeah, sure. So, no, you know, no problem. So, Shane, what to you is the most important experience customers can have with the Lyric in terms of driving, ownership, charging, and so on? I think the most important experience is is just not having range anxiety. You know. Um, a lot of EVs of the past have not had the type of range where you could drive from Ottawa to Toronto or Toronto to Montreal on a, on a full tank of uh, <laughs> electrons, if you will. So, you know, for, for consumers, that range that it provides is, is really outstanding. And, and I think it's the total experience of, of luxury for us. And so, you know, there's, there's a lot of electric vehicle competitors in the market, but on the luxury end, um, there's not a lot of choices out there. And um, I'm, once you see this vehicle and experience this vehicle, it really truly is the Cadillac, the, the fit, the finish, you know, the animation on the front, like I'm gonna keep pressing that button. Um, and, and attention to detail and, and how you feel behind the wheel, the, the switch gear, the jewel-like craftsmanship, the lighting, the ambiance is really, um, I, don't, I, I saw this vehicle for the first time in the flesh a, a few days ago when it came to live. And, 
it's almost otherworldly, right? Like when you get into this vehicle and experience it, you're experiencing something really special. And so all of that technology and, and performance and driving um, dynamics of an electric vehicle, which many of your customers will be familiar with, will be there. But this is the, the Cadillac way of, of doing it. And so there's something special that's uh, hard to hard to describe without it being sensory. Well, we know brand loyalty is a huge thing in the auto yeah. industry. And so to be able to bring the, the Cadillac's, Cadillac customer base into the same experience they, they've had for years into electric and the familiarity of some of the, the brand cue points that yeah. we can use. The, the step change in technology yeah. experience, I think, is really awesome. To yeah, see. a lot of our customers are really happy to see us coming along on this journey and not only going there because we have to, but because the industry is already there, but but leading in it, right? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's one thing to come out with electric vehicles you know, because the industry is forcing you to, but it's another thing to lead. Cadillac's always been an iconic brand that has led in so many different ways. And to see us at the forefront, electrifying our entire fleet, um, you know, out of the chute and then putting that Cadillac touch on things is, is really special. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so question from John Carson. I know that software on board EVs will show recharge stations, but for those that are hovering on the decision to buy into an EV, they argue that the infrastructure isn't set up enough for them to make the switch. Seeing signage on the roadways, like the gas car drivers do of today, because you yeah. see, hey, here's a service station here. Um, seeing signage on the roadways like uh, gas drivers do uh, would help alleviate this problem. How can you help here? Yeah, and I, I think that's where some of the things that we're, we're doing with the design competition for the charging stations of the future is, is really where we're going to, uh, to make some of those experiences better for consumers because the whole industry has to, has to bring that along, right? Um, so for Cadillac customers anyway, one of the things that we will do with, um, with the Lyric and, and owners is provide them with an app. Uh, that app is going to be connected to your charge status of your vehicle and will help you find those those stations. And so that'll be integrated into the vehicle, into your smartphone, so that you can plan your route without having to, you know, mastering the, the depths of Google to find those those locations. And so we'll provide that at no charge to our, our Cadillac customers when they purchase the uh, purchase the Lyric and, and future vehicles. But also... Um, I think helping on the public or on the, on the private charging at home, um, given that most EV owners charge today at home, uh, having and facilitating that process with a white glove service. So you have a trusted supplier, um, trusted charger networks, trusted, um, you, you know, advisors at the dealership to help you get that done. I think will will help. So we're trying to, trying to play that two ways. On both sides. Uh, yeah. Thank you. We know that recyclability was factored into the Ultium platform when it was designed. And uh, certainly I, 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 I've seen that from the briefings that, that we've received at, at Electrical Autonomy. How core to Cadillac's mission is it to be conscious about having a circular supply chain? Yeah, it's, it's incredibly important. You know, I, I think that's why that, uh, you know, we've announced plans to open our own Ultium battery plants uh, to work towards sourcing materials as ethically and as sustainably as possible and why we've uh, adopted such a strong battery recycling program. You know, we've had um, vehicles that have been involved in crashes or whatever it might be, where battery is no longer needed by that customer or, or, or not practical to use. We've recycled every single one of them. So we have a really, really great track record of, of recycling, recycling existing batteries from vehicles to make sure that they get reused and, and recycled. And there's no impact to the environment there, but also working to develop our own technologies and sustainable uh you know plants along the way to make sure that what we're using in the vehicles is as you say sustainable ethical and uh, uh as good for the environment as we could possibly manage one of the things i i really found interesting was that the ultium cells will have a url printed on them where they can yeah. be which which whoever's kind of dealing with the used used uh, batteries yeah we'll be able to go to that url and find instructions uh, yeah for, for how, to, how to properly manage them and how to properly dispose of them right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's absolutely terrific um uh, so i really like this question from linda from hey is there a frunk under the hood <laughs> there is not uh, it, there is uh, there is an underfloor uh, cargo compartment in in the back of the vehicle it's always a a question you know we've it, 
I've heard that word more now uh, than I've ever heard it uh, in the, in the past. But uh, there's there's actually one in in the rear under the cargo floor. So um, I, it was a trade trade off of, of space and design and where to place things. And so um, under the low floor, there's a pretty significant area that's that's tucked away for. Uh, extra cargo storage. So where you've got the regular loading bay, you've got a hatch that comes up. Exactly. Where perhaps like um, the the exhaust manifold might have taken up some room yes. underneath. The, you don't have that anymore. Yeah, so it's, actually it's it's large enough to probably fit a, a couple of carry-ons in there. So it's uh, pretty significant. Terrific. Cool. Yeah. Okay, that's good. One. Um, from uh, Faisal Siddiqui. Uh, I, uh, excuse my pronunciation. Have got it right? What makes driving a Cadillac EV unique? versus other EVs in the class and versus combustion engine alternatives. Yeah, sure. I, I think what's going to make uh, this particular Cadillac unique is is the style, the technology, and the, and the craftsmanship, along with that uh, ultimate battery technology. The, the range is one thing, 480 kilometers. Uh, it is pretty groundbreaking for the class. Uh, the, the value is another. Uh, the Lyric, with all this equipment, with standard Super Cruise, standard glass roof, Standard 20 inch wheels, 480 kilometers of range, uh, 190 kilowatt charging capacity. Um, all of it is, is going to start just under $70,000, so $69,900. Uh, and uh, that whole proposition, I think, is, is something that we're really proud of. So there's, there's not one thing, there's a, there's a host of things. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd encourage, uh, you know, your viewers to, uh, check out the vehicle and stack it up against the competition and for, for what you're getting. And uh, hopefully in the spring, get behind the wheel of one. You know, when we, we start seeing our first units, we're going to be doing some outreach tours and we'll bring uh, bring the Lyric to uh, to your members, hopefully, and, and to the yeah. community so that, um, you, you know, you can park it side by side with existing EVs and, and take it for a, uh, a spin and, and really do a comparison. But uh, it really is the Cadillac of EVs. I know uh, uh, that's cliche to say in some cases, but it, it, it's it's genuinely true. It's never been more true for Cadillac than, than with this vehicle. And when you get behind the wheel, uh, whether it's the 33 inch OLED screen that can display over you know a billion colors, the glass roof, the switch gear, the attention to detail, it um, it, it feels like nothing else. And in in the world so awesome yeah uh, what would you love to see for yourself and your family in the charging station of the fina of, of, of the future <laughs> that's a that's a really great question you know i think i think thankfully uh, with the range of the lyric if i'm visiting my parents who are like 300 400 kilometers away i should be good but there will be those trips where you're where you're driving and you, and you need to top up and so I mean, I mean, for me, it's 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 all about speed and convenience, right? It's it's something to entertain me while I am there. That's that's the biggest thing. So there's there's got to be things to keep my kids entertained and things to keep me entertained while I'm charging. And um, speed is really going to be the biggest thing. So if if there's if I had to say one thing, it would it would be speed and really having those uh, chargers that are public chargers be as fast as possible because. Quick top up, ten minutes. You know, 125 yeah. kilometers. Uh, that gets me on my way to my destination if I'm if I'm this close. So, cool. Speed would be great as a first choice. <laughs> Terrific. Um, question: What is your favorite feature on the Lyric? Oh man, uh, there's so many. Um, but I'm going to press the button again. It it has to be the attention to detail in the led lighting uh, on the vehicle so and just um, again. <laughs> when you walk up to the vehicle with your key in the pocket you know you can set it up so that it greets you and you see the animations in the led lighting at the front of the vehicle you see the you know the led lights fill from top to bottom and when you get inside the vehicle it's incredibly immersive as well you can choose the colors that you want to have the leds in the inside of the vehicle be so um it might be uh, a bit vain or, <laughs> you know, uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, to, to see, but it, it's really the neatest, one of the neatest features that I it's, think. Is. It's nice to get a welcome. It, it is. It, it, it really is. Home, right? it's, uh, it's, it's great to have your car say hello. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, you mentioned your children earlier. Does yeah. Cadillac have any plans to help elevate EV education? for the next generation i love this question yeah it's a it's a good one cadillac specifically uh not yet but it's a great prompt to do so but also um, general motors does and so general motors has been uh fairly active in in stem education both in, in canada and and the us to get 
kids interested in electric vehicles, but also getting them the skills to, you know, contribute to this society, whether it's autonomous driving, artificial intelligence, um, you know, skills like coding, skills like making sure that all STEM subjects are covered so that they can, you know, grow up and contribute to that society that's achieving those missions is a, is a big one. So um, we're, we're, we're happy and lucky to be part of General Motors and, and that mission that Mary talked about and uh, education is a, is a big part of that, uh, particularly for, for females in STEM uh, as well. Uh, there's a disproportionate gap there for the number of females that are involved in STEM and uh, we're, we're contributing heavily to that as well. So exciting times to be part of it. Yeah, company. it's cool. You know, one of the reasons I like the question is that, um, you know, I grew up in respect, you know, we, we grew up around cars and, and people who, you know, people who, you know, our family members who are older who knew how to change a spark plug yeah. or, you know, what it meant to change your oil or, or things like that. But, but now we're all learning about EVs and what it means to manage them and own them. So yeah. there is just so much education to happen at so much There scale. is for sure. And it's really um, inspiring, inspiring to go to our technical center here in Markham uh, and in, in Oshawa by the plant and uh, meet the people that are working on some of that technology. Um, there's 12 different uh, features in the, in the Lyric that have been developed or contributed to here in Canada at our technical center. So we have Canadians uh, that are that are developing that technology and talking to them is just so different than talking to, you know, the, the gearheads of the past, right? And it's a world that blends both, which is just incredible to have those new perspectives and new uh, points of view coming into designing things that are part of the lawyer. So yeah, very awesome. cool stuff. Very cool. Um, and uh, we're going to have to make this uh, uh, our, our last uh, a last, a last comment. So sure. you've been very generous. With yeah, your, no problem with, at all. My pleasure. With, with your time, Shane. Thanks so much. Um, uh, and just a, a, a final question: uh, What would you say to anyone who's hesitant about buying an EV? Yeah, I, I, I think I, I would say take take the leap. It's um, technology has progressed uh, a lot further than a lot of people think, and uh, with a little bit of planning, any of those anxieties that you might have about filling up or not getting to your destination can can be pretty easily resolved whether that's by getting set up with home charging with the help of a cadillac dealer or whether it's uh you know the intuitive features that it has and the apps that it has that'll help you charge um I, i'd say get behind the wheel of one give, give it a shot because uh not that long ago i was in that same boat right and when, when you start to take a fully electric vehicle home and, and live with it for a few weeks and and, and start to live with it, you start to realize that, well, this, is, this isn't so worrisome after all. You know, we, we've kind of become very easily attracted to the convenience of, of a gas pump, but what it means to not have to do that and to, to live a little bit more sustainably is, is well worth a little bit of uh, education that you need to, to get yourself to the place where you're comfortable with leveraging all that infrastructure that's out there, so. Cool. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for yeah, sharing no all your information and uh, your, your, your experience and background. Yeah. It's just been absolutely terrific. Awesome. And Thanks for the opportunity, you know. Oh, a, a, a pleasure, Shane. And yeah. uh, to, to anyone uh, who, who's watching online, if you'd like to see more of the lyric, you can go right now to Cadillac.live and it is Cadillac.live and you can actually register for an appointment with one of the advisors here and get your own tour of the car and they will show you the things that you want to see they're, they're allowed to open the doors and stuff like that <laughs> so uh, that would be um, great yeah you get get a get get your, get your own tour of the vehicle um so shane thanks very much thank and, you uh, yeah we look forward to seeing these on the road that's great and if you uh if you like it we uh reservations open saturday at four awesome great right well thanks very much everybody for, for joining us today